Days after South Korea reported its first death from an infection that people have rarely heard of, online traffic has been going wild with people world over trying to look up this fatal infection. South Korean authorities had confirmed on Monday that a man had died after being infected with a deadly infection caused by Nigleria fowleri, which is also known as the brain-eating amoeba. In this video, we decode what exactly is this Nigleria fowleri or the brain-eating amoeba and the threats posed by this lethal infection. But before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to One India. To put it simply, Nigleria is an amoeba, a single-celled organism and only one of its species called Nigleria fowleri can infect humans. It was first discovered in Australia in 1965 and is commonly found in soil and in warm freshwater bodies such as hot springs, rivers and lakes. It is also found in water that is geothermal such as hot springs or in industrial or power plants that usually discharge warm water. However, this species of amoeba is not found in oceanic waters. It is a thermophilic organism, which basically means it thrives in hot environments and prefers warm water. It grows best at temperature as high as 46 degrees Celsius and can survive at even higher temperatures for short periods of time. This basically means that the temperature of tropical countries are more conducive for its survival and the chances of people getting infected there can be more. So how exactly does it infect human beings? What are the ways in which one can get infected by it? When water containing the amoeba injures the body through the nose, it infects people. This usually occurs when people go swimming, diving or submerge their heads in fresh water such as lakes and rivers. The amoeba then travels up the nose to the brain where it destroys brain tissue and causes PAM, that is primary amoebic meningoencephalitis, a very deadly infection. An important thing to note here is that the PAM is nearly always fatal. As per US CDC, the fatality of PAM is such that only 4 people have survived out of 154 known infected individuals in the United States from 1962 to 2021. Infections with Nigleria fowleri can also occur when people use contaminated tap water to clean their noses during religious practices or to rinse their sinuses, thus sending water up the nose and thus the infection starts. In few cases, people have contracted this infection from recreational water that lacked sufficient chlorine, such as from water in pools, splash pads or even surf parks. The research on it have also said clearly that Nigleria fowleri cannot spread through water vapor or aerosol droplets such as shower mist or vapor from a humidifier. The US CDC says the first signs of PAM start showing within 1 to 12 days after the infection. In the initial stages, they might be similar to symptoms of meningitis, which are headache, nausea and fever. In the later stages, one can suffer from a stiff neck, seizures, hallucinations and even coma. The US Public Health Agency also observed that the infection spreads rapidly and on average causes death within about 5 days. Now, is this news of the death of the South Korean man the first such incident in recent memory? Absolutely no. There have been a few instances prior to this. In September, a child in Nebraska and in July, a swimmer in Missouri had died due to this infection. In 2022 alone, Pakistan reported at least 6 deaths due to PAM. Other nations have also reported deaths due to this infection. The US CDC also says that the cases may increase due to global warming with an increase in temperature making the conditions amenable for this variety of amoeba to thrive. This was all about the Nigleria fowleri or the brain-eating amoeba. We hope you would like this new video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.